today doctor is going to present on how to manage the knee oea pain without surgery that is the today's topic webinar topic uh, before i am going to hand over the session to doctor uh, just i would like to introduce about the doctor about the few words about the doctor uh, go to the next slide uh, jane okay just few words about uh, dr chindan pigde uh, dr chindan sir uh, having a 17 years of experience in in this orthopedic field and currently he is practicing in kuba uh, group of hospital in mumbai he is having a vast experience he has completed his uh, mbbs in uh, rajiv gandhi university of medical sciences karnataka and he has completed his ms orthopedic there and uh, you see that he has got a lot of awards and recognition and he has uh, I got a fellowship in advanced hip and knee or knee surgery and a fellowship in hip and knee surgery in Cambridge University. Fellowship in orthopedic research from McMaster University from Canada. And apart from that, he is a member of a lot of association, especially Indian Orthopedic Association, Indian Arthroscopy Society, and even in Bombay Orthopedic Society. He is having an excellent experience. in the orthopedic segment he is a joint replacement as well as orthopedic surgeon in spite of a joint replacement surgeon he is ready to talk on the non surgical option okay that is a great thing uh, on behalf of everyone i welcome dr chindan negde sir uh, with your uh, in your busy schedule you are accepted to host this webinar first of all uh, our heartfelt uh, thanks to you uh, from avana group of company and ramesh uh, organizing hosting this webinar currently and with that i am going to hand over the session to doctor now he is going to uh, give the orientation overview about osteoarthritis and what are the various causes and what are the treatment options everything he is going to explain in detail and before i am going to hand over the session to doctor a small request to everyone uh, just be patient uh, don't unmute mute your uh, mic once the doctor completed the presentation okay you will get a chance to interact with the doctor okay so then you will talk to the doctor after that thank you very much once again for joining this wonderful uh, evening for this wonderful webinar with that i would like to invite uh, dr chindan sir now this is here after it is your show you can start now thank you very much uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction uh thank you ramesh and thank you team avana for hosting this webinar uh i think uh, uh knee arthritis has become so common that uh, we are trying to find solutions uh where we can avoid surgery and uh, a lot of research is going into uh, arthritis uh, because arthritis is one of the leading causes of uh, disability uh, in the all over the world and uh, uh, currently up to today uh, there is no 100% cure for arthritis uh, but uh, we have uh, with our experience whenever we travel as doctors we we see different institutes and uh, uh, different uh, uh, protocols which are uh, there in america in the european uh, nations and in other asian countries uh, we tend to uh, form our own protocol which uh, can definitely help our patients to uh, have a pain free life from our tribes and uh, uh, it is it is one of our experience that uh, uh, we use a combination of medicines or some injections etc etc we should be going through in the today's webinar and that will definitely help our patients to uh, fight with our tribes and have a, a pain free life right so we go to arthritis as a terminology what is arthritis so arthritis is basically an inflammation of one or more of your joints uh it basically causes the pain and stiffness now if you see this picture on the left side we see a normal knee and on the left on the right side we see an affected knee i can show you on the model also if you if, if it's visible to everyone okay uh so this is the normal knee where we have the healthy cartilage okay now why i'm showing is the knee is knee is one of the most commonest uh, joint which is involved with arthritis arthritis can affect any joint be it your fingers be it your hips be it your ankles it can any it, it can affect any joint 
any synovial joint. So this is one example of a joint where it has a healthy cartilage in between and there's no deformity, the knee looks nice and pristine. As in when the knee starts damaging, okay? As in when the knee starts damaging, if you can see here, this is an early form of arthritis where the damage is only on one side, okay? So this is an early arthritis. Secondly, when you reach to the second stage, which is moderate arthritis, the problem as we can see here is slightly more. You can see on both the sides it is affected and it also starts affecting the back side of the knee joint. Now this is the second stage of arthritis. Finally, when the knee reaches, when any joint reaches its, uh, its end and it's called as the stage three arthritis, we see this extensive kind of damage here. Okay, you can see here that the cartilage is completely worn out and there is extra bone formation all around. Now, this extra bone formation is because both the bones are rubbing against each other and that rubbing causes the bone to break and form these extra bones on the side. Now, this is the stage 3 arthritis or it's called as the end stage disease. Okay, so that's the initial introduction about arthritis. As I said, it can affect any joint, which you can see in this picture here. It can affect your fingers, it can affect your knees, it can affect your shoulders. But commonly, knees, knee and hip arthritis is common because these are mainly weight-bearing joints. And we all of us work on these. Not able to hear you at all. Okay. So, uh, this is... I hope uh, everyone has unmuted uh, their, uh, their volume and in some ways... Sir, your voice is audible, sir. Well audible, actually. Or audible. Maybe, okay. ma'am, if you have any difficulty, please disconnect and join. Yeah. Okay. So, coming to the continuation of arthritis, as we all spoke about it, uh, now who can get uh, um, osteoarthritis? Now, arthritis can affect people of all ages, but it is mainly commonly seen in elderly. As the wear and tear increases, the synovial sino fluid... Uh, is reduced, okay, and that causes the wear and tear to increase. Okay, so it can affect any joints. Nowadays, what we are seeing is a lot of patients, younger patients are coming, starting from 40 years of age group, okay, and uh, uh, people, young people who are suffering with arthritis, who have a family history of arthritis, uh, where their parents, their grandparents have already been affected with arthritis. Uh, these patients are coming with early symptoms of pain and stiffness of uh, different type of joints. So what are the early signs and symptoms which you should not ignore? That is the first thing. The primary thing is to diagnose arthritis. Okay. Now, we, if we can see this diagram, okay, starting from the left side. Okay. Now, these are the early symptoms of arthritis which you should never ignore, like clicking or cracking sounds in the joints. Okay. These are the slow onset of symptoms. There is mild swelling. Okay, There is asymmetry. That means affects a joint on only one side, but not on the other side. So this is one sign of osteoarthritis. Now arthritis can be divided into different types. It's, there is simple arthritis. There is rheumatoid arthritis. There is gouty arthritis. There is psoriatic arthritis. Now, Majorly, all these arthritis have got same symptoms like pain and stiffness and crackling noises. There are few points which differentiate each arthritis. For example, in rheumatoid arthritis, patients have early morning stiffness which lasts for at least one hour. Okay? This is one of the main uh, symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. In case of gouty arthritis or gout arthritis, these patients' uric acid level will be elevated. So that shows a symptom of something called as gout. So that is called as gouty arthritis. Then we have something called as psoriatic arthritis. Now psoriatic arthritis is a skin problem. If you would have seen with patients having a skin lesions in the lower legs, so they also have a chance to affect your joints. And that is called as psoriatic arthritis. So in psoriatic arthritis, we have to always do the treatment of arthritis. Plus we have to consult a dermatologist and do their skin treatment also. All right. So this is always remember and always look out for these symptoms of different types of arthritis also. Now, commonly this pain in the joints can affect the hips, the knee joint and the hands. Okay. When you feel your knee, 
you can put your hand on your knee joint and when you try to move your joint okay that will kind of give you, give you crackling kind of noises you might feel some extra bone which is projecting out also that extra bone what i said is called this tension points okay and finally the flexibility reduces flexibility means bending of the joint so normally the full movement which is there will reduce to half and you will not be able to bend completely you might find it difficult to climb steps get on steps affect the day to day activities your, uh, the potential of doing uh, these activities will slowly reduce day by day so you will know that your body flexibility is reducing so these are one of the most commonest points common symptoms which you should not ignore now this is a beautiful x ray which explains that arthritis phenomena on the left side if you can see this is a normal x ray where this is the upper bone that is a femur bone and this is the lower bone and when you see the gap between both the bones they are equally on both the sides okay now when you see this other x ray which is on the right side this is an arthritic uh, x ray patient suffering from arthritis if you can see here both the bones are touching each other okay the gap which was there here now there is no gap at all so that means both the bones are rubbing against each other and that causes the pain that means the cartilage which is there in between has completely thinned out and that is damaging both the bones okay now this is a sign of you can see a small video here okay it's an animated video which shows the femur bone shows the articular cartilage there's the meniscus that is the tibia and we have many ligaments inside the knee joint also that is the a the acl ligament the pcl ligament etc okay now the articular cartilage forms like the cushion for example you can see there's a wear and tear happening in this on the inner side now the question common question what everyone asks me why doctor the inner side always gets affected okay now you can see here the gap is normal but here the inner side the gap is gone okay why the inner side affects is because when when a person stands the weight bearing portion the weight always falls on the inner side there is an axis which is normally we draw for the hip knee axis and the weight mainly falls 90% of the weight falls on the inner side of the knee so most of our patients complain that the pain is on the inner side of the knee okay and hardly 10% of patients come with pain on the outer side of the knee see when the patient walks the main load is falling on the inner side always note out for this kind of symptom where your pain is starting on the inner side and slowly if you can see the knee is bending also okay. this happens because the weight is falling on the inner, weight is falling on the inner side and that causes the knee to bend slowly in picture okay. remember whenever you feel any pain any stiffness of the joints and you are not able to treat it by yourself at home it's always better to consult the doctor your orthopedic surgeon who is a knee specialist especially a knee specialist because the knee specialist look at the x rays in a different way the first thing what a doctor will tell you is whenever there's any pain in the joints or any for example now we have the knee joint okay always take an x ray in a standing position this is very important this is a very important point because in a sleeping position we might see that the gap is normal but in the standing position when a person stands as you can see on the picture on the right side okay the x ray is taken here in the standing position the full weight falls on the knee and then we can really see how much gap is there and this we can see here there is absolutely loss of joint space there is no gap in this knee joint okay so coming to the risk factors now what are the risk factors firstly age elderly people are always at the high risk of arthritis sex wise females are more common for arthritis because their bones are osteoporotic weight is slightly more and mainly the hormonal changes they cause early arthritis 
third point joint injuries joint injuries meaning if the patient has had an old injury laport na youtube pe hi se kar young age or her young age has got any ligament injury in school or college for example now these injuries can lead to arthritis at a early age okay so whenever a patient comes for, nowadays 40 45 year old patients are coming with arthritis i always ask them whether they had any history of any injury in their past okay so that is one very important point fourth is weight obviously obese patients are more prone for arthritis because more more the weight more load more loading on the knee joint and that causes more wear and tear fifth is the occupation so people who have a uh, uh, who have, who work in places where they have to con- constantly walk like in a construction site or uh, some other uh, heavy, heavy you know heavy industries where they have to keep on lifting heavy weights and you know manual laborers so these people are more prone for uh, arthritis as i said again family history people who have a very strong family history of arthritis are always prone for knee joint problems and other joint problems bleeding problems can also cause of uh, cause arthritis and uh, other kind of arthritis what i told you is rheumatoid arthritis gouty arthritis and psoriatic arthritis okay so these are few of the risk factors which can aggravate your arthritis now this picture shows a uh, simple again uh, Uh, diagrammatic representation of the risk factors aged over 50 years male or female is a very borderline age where the arthritis can start excessive bmi of more than 23 people who are obese they are more prone for arthritis genetic disorders who by birth have a bow legs now we see a lot of patients by birth they are having either bow legs or they are having something called as knock knees where the knees are touching each other now these Uh, patients already have a mal alignment of the legs so these patients are more prone for arthritis at a early age okay another patients who are more prone for having arthritis is people who have a habitual floor activity such as kneeling down using the indian washroom squatting etc so these people are more prone for knee issues and then high impact physical activities like sportsmen because the sportsmen are always involved in lot of high impact activities like uh, football cricket squash etc and these these uh, have a these sportsmen always have a very small shelf life so they are into very aggressive sports and they are dedicating themselves to the sports so this uh, sportsmen also suffer with lot of ligament injuries and these ligament injuries can cause arthritis at a later stage okay so coming to the treatment options okay now let's talk about the treatment options i hope everyone is clear with the basics of arthritis of what are the symptoms what are the types of arthritis which are there in the in the society what are the stages of arthritis early stage moderate stage late stage and then finally how do we investigate it investigations as i showed you is one of the x rays and the other way to investigate it. arthritis is by doing some blood test now before we start the treatment options the doctor will always ask for blood test now what are this blood test it's not the basic blood test we have special test to diagnose arthritis which is very important to decide what medical options what medicines can be taken for arthritis arthritis is not only about taking painkillers there are vast types of medicines which are available which can help you to fight arthritis Okay. now what are this blood test okay now this blood test are very simple one is ra factor which is rheumatoid factor second is uric acid checkup third is anti ccp fourth is aso titer and then we have something called as hla b27 blood test now, these are the blood test which your any good orthopedic surgeon will always guide you to take it along with this we always do our serum calcium vitamin d3 and b12 now these blood test will give us a rough idea of what is your state of your bones and the muscles according to this we can do the further treatment so always whenever we do the investigations get these blood tests done i will tell it again ra factor uric acid anti ccp vitamin d3 b12 and calcium and also get the x rays done if your main joints like the knee joint or the hip joint or the ankle joint is involved rarely we see shoulder arthritis because we don't walk on our shoulder we walk on our hips and knee joints and the ankle joints so these are the weight bearing joints okay now coming to the treatment options as we can see on this 
on this slide, there are so many options which are available like topical medications, oral medications, injections. Uh, we have uh, walkers, you know, we have canes, we have the supports, you know, orthotics is called. And then there are lifestyle interventions. Okay. Now, medicines, initially, when a patient comes with severe form of arthritis where they are suffering with pain and they are almost limping and they cannot walk, we have to give something called as COX-2 inhibitors or NSAIDs. These are the tablets what we suggest. Okay. These are the tablets which can be given only for a few days. I would not recommend everyone to take because I personally don't believe in taking, uh, giving painkillers also for these uh, uh, treatment of arthritis. Second option is bracing. Now, what does this bracing mean? Okay, now this bracing is not only wearing a kneecap. 90% of the doctors, orthopedic surgeons, always suggest, I also see that a lot of patients already come with the kneecap. And you know, a lot of, you would have seen somewhere or somewhere on the TV or somewhere, somewhere online that, oh, kneecap will help you to reduce the pain. Yes, it is right. Kneecap definitely helps you to give some support. But there are different types of kneecaps which are available, which I will be talking in the for the slides. So that is about bracing, wearing the right kneecap. Then we have injections. Okay. Now injections also I will be talking about. There are different types of injections which are available in the market, which can give uh, much good pain relief and can sustain your knee for many years to come. And then finally, if nothing works, then we always have the surgery of knee replacement. Okay. If revision arthroplasty is a separate topic where somebody who has undergone a surgery but that surgery has failed, then we do something called as a revision arthroplasty. Okay. So, this is a uh, nice uh, diagrammatic uh, representation of uh, uh, how do we, how does the life progress? Now, initially, when you are young, when you are just born, uh, you have to monitor for uh, this is basically to monitor your deformities, your muscle mass, your children's muscle mass, so that you will know and you should always be, it's, it's prevention is better than cure. So early to diagnose is always good for the treatment and you can uh, avoid the person from getting arthritis. So when the, when, the, when the child is small, always look at their limb alignment, always look at their muscle mass. They shouldn't be overweight. Correlate with their age, with their height. That is also very important. Your pediatrician will always recommend it, recommend you what at what age, how much should be the weight. So keep that in mind. Prevent overweight and inactivity. Inactivity means put your children to play active sports. It's very important. Building up of uh, muscle mass, increasing the strength of the muscle, flexibility will always help you to keep the weight also under control. Prevent muscle weakness, overuse and re-injury. In case of any knee injury, when you reach the age of 20 to 30 years, you know, we see a lot of young sportsmen who are into football, cricket. So whenever they come with a knee injury, we always emphasize that muscle weakness should be prevented because that is the one which is important and gets you back to track. So always prevent this by suggesting them some good exercises and physiotherapy. Prevent weight gain. When you cross 40, avoid putting weight and prevent this. Keep your weight under control, specifically in ladies when they reach menopause. So getting, keeping yourself active, keeping yourself fit with a good healthy diet and uh, exercises, regular walking. So all these, all these points will definitely help you to prevent your weight and keep your joints also healthy. Prevent physical work overload. Always in your working environment, see to it that your work is not overloading your body. That is very important and ergonomics forms a main part in all kinds of offices and commercials now where you have to take care of your body health. Okay, And prevent, prevent age-related sarcopenia. Sarcopenia means as you age, suppose you are reaching you know, above 60 years, Okay. Sarcopenia means weakness of your muscles. Automatically, the muscle starts degenerating. The red muscle which is there keeps getting converted in by fat. Then only it's called as fatty infiltration of the muscles. So over the period of years, the muscles become totally weak. So doing a surgery also, even if you think of doing a surgery, your surgery has to be supported by good muscle mass. So keep exercising, keep your muscle mass under control. 
okay tone your muscles so that even though whenever you know if nothing works and you have to undergo a surgery your recovery should be much faster okay and all our patients whenever they come to me elderly patients before surgery i always suggest them that they take a physiotherapy session where they start developing the muscle tone so this is very important so coming to the non surgical treatments for osteoarthritis now osteoarthritis as i said in my initial uh, statement is a wear and tear disease and it cannot be cured completely but we have something which is preventable definitely and now technologically we have lot of uh, medicines and injections which are available which can help you to avoid surgery so prevention is better than cure okay now how to prevent now first strengthen your muscles if you strengthen your muscles for example we if you are talking about the knee joint your thigh muscles the quadriceps muscles have to be strengthened now there is something called as quadriceps strengthening exercises there are four to five exercises which we normally teach our patients okay where you can strengthen your quadriceps muscles okay quadriceps muscles are your thigh muscles now some people younger younger people or whoever elderly also who want to go to the gym i would suggest you to not just go to the gym and lift heavy weights i would suggest you that concentrate more on core strengthening and strengthening of your muscles there are a lot of exercises there are a lot of equipments in the gym which do help you to strengthen these muscles so muscles are strong the wear and tear will be less the specific muscles have to be strengthened for each joint most of the good trainers in good gyms are uh, fairly knowledgeable about what muscle works for which joint so they know they we can you have to concentrate on each joint on a day don't mix and match everything concentrate on each joint so your neck your back your knee your hip your shoulder your ankle and your elbow now all these joints these areas have specific group of muscles and they have to be well trained before we start any weight lifting so exercise weight loss and biomechanical aids now coming to the biomechanical aids is what is the next topic which will be talking about now the american academy of orthopedic surgeons that is the aws it recommends that strengthening exercises low impact aerobic exercises aquatic exercises aqua therapy is one of the latest uh, modalities of treatment where the exercises can be performed in the water okay it's almost like a swimming pool where other trained people are there in cities like mumbai we have uh, trained aquatic centers where uh, it's very simple to exercise the knee joint is not overloaded your lower limb is not overloaded and you are able to do you are able to do your exercises much more easily and weight loss programs have to be included in your uh, chart where along with exercises weight loss programs do definitely help you initially as i said it is the nsids we have uh, the oral nsids which can reduce musculoskeletal pain but there is always as i said a risk of uh, severe acidity severe kidney issues some gastro issues and all these medicines cannot be continued for a longer time better than this i prefer topical nsids topical nsids means in the form of creams or gels which have a fewer adverse effects so these give local uh, pain relief and i would suggest people to use that there are many ones in the market which are available but the currently which is one of the best is the one which you use for nanotechnology okay now coming to the physical therapy which is in other words it's physiotherapy now we have something called as manual therapy manual therapy means the exercises which the physiotherapist also teaches then we have something called as thermotherapy where there is therapy given in the form of heat then we have electrotherapy then there is exercise therapy and then activity modi uh, modification strategies okay now these physical therapy exercises should always be done under consultation by a good physiotherapist specifically who are uh, treating arthritis and sports injuries now these physiotherapists are well versed with the muscle uh, training and they definitely help you to strengthen your muscles coming to the injections now initially and now also a lot of people give steroid injections a lot of doctors uh, give steroid injections in patients who are acutely painful patients who come with severe pain for immediate relief steroid is the only way we can give immediate relief but again that is only temporary so we have to look at something long term okay so initially 
we used to give hyaluronic acid or in simple words it is called a gel injections now these gel injections behave like lubricants okay so if the knee is damaged like this we give an injection okay we give local anesthesia and we give an injection as we can see in the picture here okay and that infiltrates the gel into the knee joint makes the rough surface smooth and that gives a kind of pain relief but again these gel injections also have a shelf life most of the good companies which are available uh, they give good positive results for at least 6 to 8 months okay after that the pain again the gel is absorbed in the body and then the pain starts again so again as i said this is not a permanent cure taking one injection is not a permanent cure if the patient has got wonderful relief for at least 6 to 8 months they can take that gel injection again okay so that is about the gel injection second what i commonly use and i would suggest all my viewers today that prp therapy which is in other words called as platelet rich plasma therapy or bmac which is a bone marrow concentrate bone marrow aspirate concentrate now these uh, uh, injections which are currently available these are categorized into something called as ortho biologics or biological therapy now these biological therapy or in simple word stem cell therapy are the best and the safest options currently which are available these injections are prepared in the opd itself okay in our consultation patient does not have to get admitted we prepare this injection by withdrawing patient's own blood like a simple blood test okay now the concept came that each one of us our blood has got something called as healing factors now these healing factors okay suppose for example if you have a small scratch okay even if you don't do anything for it it will heal automatically right so how does it heal because of the healing factors so using this concept we do prp injection and bmac therapy they give concentrated amount of healing factors okay so patient comes to the clinic we will draw the blood almost like 30 ml like a simple blood test we put it in a filter it separates the with different molecules and it separates the healing factors now out of 30 ml at least 4 ml of pure healing factors are remaining in that now we take that 4 ml of healing factors and inject it in, into the patient's knee it can be used in the knee it can be used in the ankle it can be used in the hip it can be used in the shoulder it can be used in the elbow also prp therapy has got vast uses for the joints as well as for the muscle injuries also okay so this prp therapy the advantages are it is absolutely safe why because we are not mixing anything we are using your own blood for the same so it's absolutely safe we are not mixing anything and there is no reaction at all second the advantage is most of our prp patients i have been doing prp therapy from the last 8 years okay we were one of the first people me and my team to start using prp therapy for something called as plantar fasciitis or heel pain this is the commonest problem with the heel spur so we started giving that we have an article published you can see on google you can put my name you can put prp therapy and you will get all the details in that so we started with that and now prp has got a vast usage okay and these injections give more long term relief and we have a study of at least patients who are happy for 3 to 4 years okay so this therapy has got something called as a healing potential i'm not saying it is found we have found a cure for our diseases but this one definitely has a much better healing potential in early stage better than the gel injections this is up with our experience and we have published it in the scientific journals so that is about the prp therapy coming to the main other topic is called as the braces now as i told you most of the doctors will give you a simple knee cap a simple knee cap is i feel according to me is more like a psychological therapy because a simple knee cap will not do much what we see here is something called as an offloader or uh, osteoarthritic brace now this belt might look like a simple belt but it is a highly researched product where the brace will help you to relieve your pain immediately okay now as we can see here as i told you that the one side of the joint gets damaged first 
Now you can see in this X-ray in the center that the joint space is absolutely not there. The both the bones to bone are touching each other. Okay. When we apply this belt, which is there on the right side, okay, you can see a small button here. Okay. Now this, this now this system, the whole technology is based on this. Okay. Now these straps are fitted to the thigh. The main technology is fitted here, where we turn a knob over there and we try to distract the joint. Okay. So it's called as an offloading. Now suppose if the weight is falling on this side, we adjust the belt in such a way that the weight moves from that side to the center. Okay. So when it when we apply the brace, we can see here that now the joint is opened up here. Okay. So bone to bone is not rubbing here. So now the bone is having a gap there. So the weight bearing axis has shifted from outside to inside. You understand? It's very it's simple. It's basically you're shifting the axis of the weight from the affected side away from it. That is called as an offloading brace. Then the whole weight falls on the belt. Okay, that is called as an offloading brace. Now these are the common compression knee sleeves. What most of us use, you know, this is like a simple knee cap, and this is like a hinged knee cap, which looks like that. But this offloading brace has got its main mechanics with this kind of uh, technology. Okay. Then we come to the exercises. Okay. Exercises for knee arthritis is very important as I told you. And the knee strengthening forms the main core for maintaining stability. So we have these exercises called as knee flexion. Then we have the hamstring stretch. We stretch the hamstring muscles. Then we have the leg flexes. Then we have the hip extensions. Then we ups and downs when you sit up and you get down. So you're strengthening your quadriceps, stair climbing and getting down and then heel slides to improve the flexibility and leg lifts to strengthen your hip abductors. So these are a few exercises which I'm sure when you consult your orthopedic surgeon, they will definitely teach you how to do these exercises. Even the same exercises can be taught by the physiotherapist in the physical therapy also. So how do we treat arthritis knee pain at home immediately whenever anybody is suffering from arthritis? These are a few tips what we can use it at home. You know, do low impact activities like if you somebody wants to do cardio, do a small cycling around. You know, don't try to run around too much. You can do a light cycling. Maintain a healthy weight. Okay. Take fish oil supplements which will help you to lubricate your joints. Wear a knee brace as I showed you. Okay. Eat an anti-inflammatory diet. Now, this anti-inflammatory diet is basically to avoid some food uh, substances. Like, for example, in gout, we have to avoid red meat, avoid seafood, avoid high-protein diet so that your uric acid should not fluctuate. Okay? Take basic NSIDs for pain relief, stretch before any exercises, and strengthen the muscles. Okay? Medications-wise, uh, NSIDs, as I said, have to be taken not more than five to six days. Don't become, don't make a habit and don't get addicted to these painkillers. Instead of that, we have natural biological products. One, I told you about the injection. Second, we have a lot of medica medications also available in the market, which are plant extracts, like rose hip extracts, where these are all naturally formed tablets. These are all more like a nutritional supplements. They are categorized into nutraceuticals, which can be taken for a long term. Uh, long-term uh, uh, effect, which can be easily taken for at least six months to one year. Okay, and they keep your knee pain also under control. So these nutraceuticals like glucosamines. Okay, then there is rosehip extracts, so there is collagens which are available. So these have multiple uses along with skin for your hair for your joints. So it comes with the combinations and a lot of combinations are currently available. But taking it regularly and religiously is very important. You cannot take it for a month and then stop it. It's not going to help. You have to take it for minimum period of three to six months. Only then it starts showing some relief. But it's much better than taking only painkillers. Okay. So this is about the medical management of uh, arthritis and uh, these are a few tips what I've shared and uh, of solutions where arthritis can be treated with medicines, with injections and some braces. And braces, as you know, 
that the simple knee cap is not enough. We have something called as an outer brace. Okay. Now patients with the uh, yeah. Yeah. So, thank you very much, doctor, uh, for your wonderful presentation on uh, managing knee pain, knee osteo osteoarthritic pain. Yeah. Uh, without surgery, you are explained in very detailed. Uh, you are given uh, all the details. Uh, very patiently, yeah. you are given. Uh, I, I hope. I hope I was. Uh, I hope I was uh, simple and clear, and uh, most of our viewers uh, have understood the basic of arthritis. And uh, uh, yes, Ramesh, take yes, over. Sir. Yeah, everybody is. Uh, I think a lot of thumbs up. Uh, it uh, shows actually everybody they understood your presentation. And uh, uh, definitely, uh, it adds a lot of value for the patients, doctor. Really, uh, uh, thank you very much for your uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, with your kind permission, I would like to add a few points. Already, you are explained in detail about the offloading braces, uh, which is uh, one of the uh, important uh, non-surgical treatment option when it comes to the managing nice. knee osteoarthritic pain. So, I would like to already you are uh, made my uh, job is very easy because you are explained in very detailed about the offloading braces. With your kind permission, I would like to add a few points on that. I would like to show the some uh, few videos to the patients. Yeah, um, yeah we also have a, a yes. demo sample so we can show it to our viewers also. Yeah, sure, sir. just a minute. Sir. Yeah. Once we are done with this uh, presentation. Then uh, we will like to take some questions from yes, our... Yes, uh, uh, after this, yeah. just a few minutes presentation, then I will uh, we'll go for an interactive session. Uh, uh, please ready, participant, please ready with your question. After this presentation, we'll go please for... Your questions uh, ready. We would like to answer each and every one. Yes, perfect. I think uh, my slide is visible. Yes. Thank you, sir. Hello, Hello. 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 Doctor, uh, you are explained in detail about the uh, braces. What is the role of braces? Slide is not visible. Yet. Hmm? Doctor, can I speak? Sir, yes. uh, just a minute, sir. Just a minute. Uh, after this presentation, you would like to go for that? Excuse. Sir, just a minute. Yeah, yeah, sir. Take your time. Just a minute. Just a minute. In the meanwhile, I will show it to our viewers. Okay. Now, yeah. this is the brace, the offloading brace. Okay, I think the presentation is ready. So, let's see the presentation. On one, sir. We'll show you the brace in some time. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Sir, uh, already you are explained in detail about the uh, what, are the, what is the role of braces in managing uh, osteoarthritic pain. So, I would like to add some few points on that. Yeah. So just a minute, there is a technical issue on sharing the Hello? presentation. Hello? Sir, just a minute, wait, sir. Okay, in the meanwhile, I think I will show it to our viewers. So viewers, if you can see here, okay, now this is the knee brace what I was talking about, okay? This looks like a simple knee brace, but this technology which is here, okay, this is an offloading brace. Suppose if somebody has a bent knee, we can fix this on the outer side or the inner side, depending on where the pain is. Suppose if the pain is on the inner side, this equipment will come on the inner side of the knee. And then there is a small knob which can be adjusted and that opens up the knee, which is completely damaged. There's a small adjustment here, depending on how much we should do it. So we adjust it. And so that the knee, which is you now the gap is closed, can open up. Okay. So that opens up the knee and that shifts the weight from inner side to the outer side. So when the knee, the knee is shifted on the outer side, the pain automatically gets shifted on the outer side. So this brace 
as soon as you wear it immediately as soon as you wear it and start walking around you will tell doctor pain gayab ho gaya this is that specific immediately but this brace has to be worn not like few hours it has to be worn every day at least for a period of 3 to 6 months that is when your knee will get that time to recover and that further damage is given with this uh, brace our sportsmen cricketers like yuvraj singh and other sportsmen they play cricket with this it is that flexible you know they used to play with the with these kind of braces he had a chronic ligament injury you know and he used to play with these kind of braces because these kind of braces are very strong they are not like your normal knee knee caps and it's got the flexibility also if you can see here okay so this is the one of the main offloading brace and this is what we are talking the brace only for arthritis it is not for simple knee pain or something like that this is specifically once your arthritis is diagnosed then we can use this brace yeah. if it is ready sir ready uh, i think hope you have seen the presentation sir yeah, we can see you can start your presentation Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Doctor. Uh, already, doctor has explained in very detail about what is meant by offloading brace, sir. So, uh, doctor has explained in his presentation the major cause, the major problem for osteoarthritis is the pain because it goes to the particular compartment, particular compartment in the sense that it's inside of the knee, mostly 90-95 percent of patients. The weight goes to that particular only on the middle, sir, medial side, on the inner side of the knee. So, because of that, what happened? The both the bones. Sir, And the thigh bone and the calf bone touches together, and the joint spaces come down. That is what everybody is getting the pain. But, but the normal compression sleeves will not help to relieve this, increase the joint space because the compression sleeves there is no mechanism at all to increase the joint space. If you see the compression sleeve sleeves, it just like cover the entire joint. It gives a compression. Doctor has explained very uh, in detail. Uh, so it gives a. Anish, can you do a slideshow? Sorry to interrupt you. Can you do a slideshow? Is it possible? Yes, sir. Uh, because uh, some one minute, sir. Because it is not changing, sir. Actually, okay. but uh, slides are changing. Like yes, yeah, yeah. slides are changing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sir, so, uh, doctor already explained in the about the compression news piece. How it is going to help? It gives a psychological effect, but. Uh, it is not going to resolve the problem the problem is actually a joint space reduction so our this free style breath free style knee oa brace which helps to increase the joint space there is a one mechanism is there if we see that the dial one the red color one there is a thumb feel this is called actually a thumb feel dial okay this dial if we increase based on the patient need if based on the pain you can increase or decrease very easily without any other tool so that what happened the opposite side where the joint space is reduced na it increases the joint space once the joint space is increased it is very easy to relieve the pain if you see this video you will also come to know that how this dials working See, we, you can see here when the person is moving the knob, the knee joint gap is increasing on the inner side. As I said, there is no gap, but now there is that gap here. So that distracts the joint and keeps the joint away. If the joint has collapsed, it will distract the joint. So more rubbing will be prevented. That is the advantage of using this kind of offloading brace. Yes, sir. thank you, Mr. Doctor, for adding value to this product. Actually, see, it is very, very simple, low profile. It is not a bulky uh, one and all. Very easy, and this thumbfill dial also it is very innovative of uh, this freestyle way. Easily, you can increase or decrease based on your need. So, because of that, what will happen? You can the freestyle way stop or reduce the pain. You can able to walk without any support. It gives the confidence while you are walking. So it improves your daily day-to-day -day activity. That is the more important thing. And your knee feels supported. That is what if you are wearing a freestyle OA, you will feel that. Okay. And uh, almost around the six thousand patients across the country, they are happy with the freestyle OA so far. They are using more than two two and a half three years. They are already started using for a long term. Suppose if we want to try this brace in Mumbai. 
there is a possibility now after this meeting we are going to share a link on the whatsapp group for the trial so that you can book your slot our people will come and attend you can try this brace you can feel that if you are happy with that you can go get it with that uh, i would like to thank you everyone again thanks for giving the opportunity sir uh, thank you mr doctor for allowing me to uh, show the our free stay thank you mr doctor now someone is presenting the someone is present one minute sir i will request everyone remove the person now uh, before we are going to for the interactive session uh, one by one we will allow to talk to the doctor okay don't worry about that you have enough time uh, one by one we will allow. one minute sir i will allow everyone yes uh, let's take a few questions so anybody would like to ask any questions on arthritis on any kind sir, of uh, just a minute sir sir there is a there is a queue everybody is already start uh, raise their hands based yeah. on their priority i will allow one by one sir yes please allow okay uh, ms kalpana uh, kalpana you are waiting for kalpana ji you can start now you can ask you can talk to the doctor now kalpana ji kalpana kalpana ji you can uh, unmute unmute you can ask me any questions i am mb kulkarni can i speak yes sir sir uh, i am suffering from arthritis since from 2 months i have shown uh, i already sent my what i have done uh, in question but two months uh, three doctors three orthopedics i have shown uh, they have told uh, the no arthritis is started just now eh? Uh, they have given pain killers, but no views at all. But uh, some knee knee cap they have given, I have utilized. Eh? But braces they have given, Epson company, Epson company. But that is also not effective, sir. Uh, uh, Kulkarni ji, how how old are you? I am 63 years, sir. 62 completed. Okay. So depending on your X-rays, I am sure they would have taken some X-rays. इंजेक्शन Okay. Yes, sir. They have told. Everybody told injection only. All three orthopedic suggested injection. So Monday I am going to ortho this one, sir. Porti uh, Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, because my hip uh, due to accident, my hip uh, total hip replacement also took place uh, since from 13 years earlier. So I, I want to go to Bangalore and I want. I want to. So which injection you are suggesting, sir, for me? Tell your tell your doctor to give you PRP injection. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I think you might have heard Narayan Hulse, who is a famous orthopedic in. Uh, huh? Ha ha ha. Sir, can you give me contact number and uh, this and uh, sending in WhatsApp, sir? And also that brace name, brace name and all that. Uh, at least I will purchase. Our team will definitely give you all the details. Okay. Uh, sir, we'll get back to you. If you are in Bangalore, we will share the Bangalore address also. Don't worry about this. After uh, the webinar, you will want to ask my question. No sir, she is not. Uh... Hello. Help me now. Help me now. Prabhaji, you can you have to unmute yourself. Okay. Next one, Vandana. Vandana ji. Hi. Hello. Yes. Vandana ji, बोलिए. मैं बैंगलोर से बोल रही हूँ डॉक्टर साहब. बोलिए. नमस्ते. बोलिए. मेरा एज 45 है. From three years, मेरे को नी में बहुत प्रॉब्लम है. डॉक्टर ने सजेस्ट किया नी रिप्लेसमेंट. But hmm. I don't want to do doctor. Yes, yes. So, uh, एक तो आपका एज है जो कम है और uh, अगर आपने मेडिसिन और इंजेक्शन वगैरह का सोच के ट्राई करके हो गया है 
ओके नहीं मैंने कुछ भी ट्राई किया है मेडिसिन इंजेक्शन कुछ तो मेडिसिंस तो आप कभी भी कर सकते हैं मेडिसिंस पेन पेन किलर्स हो एनएसआईडीज हो या न्यूट्रोसिटिकल्स हो ये तो साथ-साथ में आप चालू रखिए लेकिन इंजेक्शन का जैसे हम बात करते हैं इंजेक्शन का पीआरपी थेरेपी इज वेरी गुड फॉर यंग पीपल तीन इंजेक्शन लेना है आपको दो महीने में एक बार ओके तो 6 महीने का कोर्स होता है अगर आपके एक्सरे में जब भी हम आप एक्सरे कराएंगे और आप हमारा नंबर भी टीम शेयर करेगा अगर आपको कुछ कभी कुछ कंसल्ट करना रहेगा और अगर मैं एक्सरे देखूंगा और अगर लगता है कि स्टार्टिंग स्टेज में है ओके जैसे मैंने दे सजेस्ट भी दिस इज इन फोर्थ स्टेज ओके तो अगर फोर्थ स्टेज का है मतलब ये जो स्टार्टिंग स्टेज का जो डैमेज है इससे ज्यादा हो कि अगर एक साइड में हो पूरा साइड में डैमेज हो चुका है सो so, सबसे मेन चीज रहेगा कि आप एक एमआरआई करा लीजिए एमआरआई स्कैनिंग में अंदर का लिगामेंट्स का क्या स्टेटस है वो पता चलेगा ओके okay. एक्सरे में जो कभी-कभी फोर्थ स्टेज लगता है ओके okay. नॉर्मली हम देखते हैं कि जब भी हम सर्जरी करते हैं मैं नी का स्पेशलिस्ट हूं हम रोबोटिक सर्जरी भी करते हैं साधा सर्जरीज भी करते हैं उसमें जब भी हम खोल के जब भी देखते हैं तो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम हमको है ना एक साइड में ही डैमेज ज्यादा दिखता है मेरे दोनों पांव में स्वेलिंग है 3 साल हो गए वो स्वेलिंग ही कम नहीं पड़ा स्वेलिंग स्वेलिंग क्यों हो रहा है क्योंकि नी से नी टकरा रहा है तो मैं ये बोलना चाहता हूं कि जब भी आप एमआरआई कराओगे तो आपको अंदर की साइड में एक साइड में ज्यादा डैमेज दिखेगा और क्योंकि आप यंग हो तो आई एम श्योर आपका लिगामेंट्स स्ट्रांग है अभी भी खराब नहीं हुए तो ऐसे ऐसे केस में आपको नी रिप्लेसमेंट जैसे सर्जरी जो ऐसे होता है ओके जिसमें बड़ा कैप लगाते हैं ये लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है अभी क्योंकि आपका एज कम है सो so, ऐसे पेशेंट्स के लिए हम जो सजेस्ट करते हैं वो है समथिंग कॉल्ड एज पार्शियल नी सर्जरी अगर आप देख सकते हैं इसमें तो एक ही साइड में जहां पे डैमेज ज्यादा रहेगा ये एमआरआई पे डिसाइड होगा मैं जस्ट आपको समझा रहा हूं ओके okay? तो ये एक साइड में कैप लगाने से आपका प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो सकता है अगले 20 से 25 साल के लिए मैं क्यों आपको बोल रहा हूं क्योंकि अगर ये नहीं कराते हैं तो घुटना पूरा डैमेज जल्दी हो जाएगा ओके नी रिप्लेसमेंट जो है जितना हो सके लेट कर, अगर करना ही है तो हमको लेट करना है ये हम ये सिंपल सा फंडा है और आज का वेबिनार का यही मतलब है कि हम नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी को कैसे अवॉइड कर सकते हैं इसलिए डॉक्टर साहब मैंने ये इंटरेस्ट लिया देखो नी रिप्लेसमेंट कराना है आपके ट्रीटमेंट नी रिप्लेसमेंट में एक तो इंजेक्शंस आते हैं आपके पास एक ब्रेस आता है और ये ऑफलोडर जो जो ये जो पार्शियल नी सर्जरी बोलते हैं या यूकेआर बोलते हैं ये करने से इसमें कोई कटिंग वगैरह नहीं है जैसे दांत खराब होता है और दांत में कैप लगाते हैं वैसे ही हम इसमें एक छोटा सा कैप लगा देते हैं ये कैप लगाने से डैमेज फैलता नहीं तो अगले 20 25 साल आपको आराम रहेगा इसमें एक ही दिन का काम है पेशेंट एक ही दिन अस्पताल में रहता है अगले दिन डिस्चार्ज हो जाता है ओके तो दोनों पैर में कराना पड़ेगा डॉक्टर साहब दोनों पैर में जो भी है आपके एक्सरे देखे अगर दोनों में है तो दोनों में करा लीजिए क्योंकि दिस इज लाइक अ सेफ्टी आप एक फिक्स्ड डिपॉजिट डाल के रख रहे हैं सेफ्टी जैसा है कि आप लगाने से एटलीस्ट आपका बीस साल निकल जाएगा और इसके रिजल्ट्स काफी अच्छे हैं और शायद आगे जाके आपको नी रिप्लेसमेंट का जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगा थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो यस हेलो थैंक यू मैम कल्पना मैम यू आर ऑलरेडी गुड इवनिंग सर आई वाज डायग्नोस्ड विद मीडियल मीडियल ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस 10 डेज बैक and yes. the doctor and doctor suggested me if i don't get pain from all these uh, knee replacement uh, knee exercises he suggested me high tibial osteotomy or minor surgery for the uh, medial repair yes. is it okay for me to go with these braces sir yes how old are you madam i'm 50 i'm 50 and for the last 7 years i am um, i keep myself active i go for a walk i do a little bit of cardio and all these things i, be, I have been doing but genetically I, this is there in my family and so i am 50 and uh, just reached menopause because for the last uh, one year i'm not getting my period so this problem aggravated for me so yes. after listening to your session sir i maybe I, that could be better what's your opinion sir अलाइनमेंट आप इनडायरेक्टली चेंज कर रहे हैं ओके एंड गेटिंग अलाइनमेंट बैक लाइक अ नॉर्मली ओके नाउ 
the argument happens between high tibial osteotomy and this partial knee surgery which i have told you okay you know the argument uh, between doctors also on this issue what you beautifully raised this is one of the very important questions is ki at this age 50 years what we should be doing okay yeah. now if you were young suppose as i told you as i showed in my uh, presentation also that some children are born with bent knees or knock knees you know and they come like if they are 25 30 35 40 years is my limit 40 years mm-hmm. another patient i have who have got a by birth they have bent knees For patients i advise high tibia osteotomy okay now you have reached 50 years okay yeah. now fifth high tibia osteotomy i'll tell you they will cut your bone from here okay below your bone here they will make it straight they will put a plate here almost jaise ki they are making a fracture matlab haath pair todte hain wo log aur usko seedha karte hain okay now after this surgery and plus they will do a meniscal repair because there will be a meniscal tear okay now you have to understand one thing that one is that once after you do the surgery you cannot walk immediately डेढ़ से दो महीना तक रेस्ट रहेगा आप उस पर चल नहीं सकते आफ्टर दैट यू स्टार्ट वॉकिंग ओके देन यू डोंट नो इफ इट्स गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू बिकॉज योर रिजल्ट्स विल कम ओनली आफ्टर एट इयर्स और टेन इयर्स ओके आई बिलीव इन वेस्टिंग टाइम प्राइमरी ओके माई बिलीफ इज की माई पेशेंट शुड बी वॉकिंग इमीजिएटली ओके नाउ you know that you have arthritis your doctor has diagnosed you okay and you have arthritis like this one side okay. now this whatever damage has happened even god can even god cannot come and reverse this because this is already god okay now what are you achieving by correcting the alignment the damage is already happened correct the damage is already yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. happened okay. yes now my idea is that pain has to reduce and you should be walking immediately yeah. so if you had come to me for consultation my suggestion would be to get this done okay yeah. this is a ukr surgery where you put a small cap here and a small mm-hmm. cartilage here and you can walk immediately the next day your alignment which is there also gets corrected with this okay mm-hmm. oh, and you will be happy for the next 20 25 years <laughs> after <laughs> Uh, so braces is one option as i told you you can do this with the brace also and braces you can use it this is off order brace can definitely be used but it's totally on your compliant it's not that you use it for two days and then you uh, leave it it is not like yeah. to use it continuously and see the result when you wear it for six months continuously you will know uh, that now you are having relief so braces cannot be worn everywhere you have to attend functions you have to go to you know relatives etc etc so you cannot keep wearing it every day everywhere you know you can wear it at home and you can wear it maybe under the sari but for ladies it is little easier because they yeah. you can wear it under the sari nobody can see it definitely but if you are not wearing a sari then it becomes a little cosmetically uncomfortable to for the people to see that so, so it is your personal choice if you are okay with wearing it you can wear it you can see basically you have to take time now and you have to uh, avoid knee replacement surgery now so these all these things have to be used okay all right thank you next thank you thank you man so i am bro good evening sir good evening you are asking we are waiting for a long time please prabha ji prabha ji your uh, your voice cannot be heard prabha ji no you have to unmute actually You have to unmute yourself. Cannot hear. Because she is waiting for a long time. Okay. Yeah, Prabhuji is uh, raising her hand. Uh, okay. Good evening. 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 Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, Maria. my age is 41, sir. Uh, from last eight months, I have knee pain, sir. Hmm. Doctor said actually two to third stage, sir. Uh, okay. Actually, my weight also my weight is 59, sir. Actual weight. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> what is the solution, sir? Yes. So 41 is a very young age. Unfortunately, if somebody has diagnosed you of arthritis. Uh, normally younger patients i would suggest you to do the blood test first okay 
and uh, get the checkup done and see what kind of arthritis it is okay once you diagnose what kind of arthritis it is if it is rheumatoid arthritis or if your uric acid is high you definitely need to start those medications first okay okay uh, specific medications for that so that you diagnose suppose if all the reports are normal then you are categorized as simple arthritis okay okay doctor and which one is that you should also good evening sir start using the brace the offloader brace is very good for your age you are a young person to start using that offloader brace okay okay any uh, uh, need for prp injection sir definitely definitely prp injection we give it for younger people also there are a lot of sportsmen who come to me saying that we want to avoid ligament injuries we want our ligaments to become stronger we don't want any high impact uh, activities to injure our knee joints so they are taking it like a vaccination okay you know, they take a vaccination so prp therapy has got zero side effects it will always do good to you and it will always prevent any early injuries okay uh how many times can she take the prp injection so prp injection as i told you three injections for the knee joint i'm talking about i'm talking about the knee three injections yeah. once in two months once in two months, two months. Yeah. next time repeat which amount uh you he, 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 she can repeat for next time repeat it but that repeat is only after you finish the three courses you see for the relief our studies have shown that easily four to five years patients are happy okay after 5 years if the pain comes back then you consult again by doing an x ray and see if the problem has increased or if it's the same if the same you should repeat it. if it's increased then you have to think about something else is, is there any consultants of hyderabad hyderabad yeah yeah so we'll we'll get in touch with you all the details will be sent okay sir okay thank you sir thank you so much yeah good evening sir somebody yeah good evening sir my name is ramesh Yes. I'm calling from Bangalore, sir. Yes. I'm fifty fifty three years old, uh, sir. Sir, so actually, I'm suffering from uh, final stage osteoarthritis, sir. Almost uh, knee got uh, degenerated. Okay. Uh, sir, my doctor is uh, I mean, stem cell therapy or for uh, final stage, sir. So I would not. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, I would not. I would not give that statement that it will work for your. Uh, okay. Stage. Okay. But okay. The only thing is that uh, what are we looking at? Whether uh, okay. Now, for example. there is a 37 year old patient who was the youngest okay. patient that i have op i have operated till now in my oh, career okay sir okay sir okay. okay she came on a wheelchair okay she came on a wheelchair and uh, uh, she was not able to walk and she has been on the wheelchair on the bed since last 7 8 years because she okay. had some childhood problem and the knee got damaged early now okay, sir. if you only see the age and if you tell oh she is young then you sir you cannot operate <laughs> no that is okay. not how it works for me exactly. it works the practicality of the situation now she okay, told me okay. sir sir i want to lead a normal life i want to walk i want okay. to enjoy like others you know i want to get okay, married sir. the thing okay sir. okay but i cannot do it so i for her i have did a surgery but you can argue that sir she is so young for a surgery but yes i know okay. that but the situation okay. was different where she had to get it operated Okay. Okay. And, okay. Uh, you know, living a happy life. She's like, sir. At least for the next twenty, twenty-five years or thirty years, if I can live a okay. normal life, thing like that, you know. Oh, but, right, sir. Okay. So, just a matter of therapy. I mean, stem stem cell therapy, sir. You don't want to at this stage. So, so stem cell uh-huh. therapy will definitely, uh, uh, definitely helps. And uh, uh, if you're looking at a more refined kind of stem cell therapy, then instead of PRP therapy, you can try bone marrow therapy. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. There is another option which is called as chondroplasty. Okay. Chondroplasty. Okay, sir. Chondrocyte okay. therapy, where uh, we do a small arthroscopic laser surgery, and it okay, is sir. like how, how the government of India does patchwork on the road. Ah, <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, okay, right, okay. sir. Okay. 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 Okay.
Ah, so Sahitika, again, what I'm saying is that if your knee alignment is gone, ah, if your yes. knee is bent, okay, your knee yes, cannot sir. take the weight. When the knee cannot take the weight, the weight falls on the spine. Okay, that's why the Shaitika starts. Okay, so if younger people also use these okay. kind of points which are available. Okay, now we have to think very practically how much okay, life sir. expectations we have. You know, on an average, currently in India or in the world, around 80 or 75 years. Now we have this. Okay. Here, these are gold coated titanium coated implants. Now, these are supposed to last for more than 35 years. Oh. To that, you can always do a surgery because for your lifetime, oh. this will be valid. Plus, we are doing robotic surgery with these implants. So, it's okay, good to give okay. you perfect results. Okay. okay. And we are always telling our patients that your knee is going to last for a lifetime because in robotic surgery, oh. the knee implantation okay. is very perfectly as per your body. Okay. So, uh, forget about medicine, forget about injections. Just put this okay. implant and be happy for the next 30 35 years, you know. Okay, so, okay. my point for this seminar webinar is that yes, we have options and mainly okay. options are to be used by younger people, okay. But if elderly who are crossing 55, 50, 55, 60, don't think twice, you know, if you're suffering with arthritis, I would not suggest you to waste your time, but go for a surgical options because nowadays the surgical okay. options are pretty good. Okay. Oh, right, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir, suffering with, knee pain, yeah, suffering with knee pain is not what we want. Sir? Yes. Thank you. One more question. Yeah. Uh, two for, for the MRI, both the knee. Sorry, sorry, MRI? Yes. MRI karana padega, dono knee ka. Fir aapko yes. Report. Yes, MRI karake report bhejdi. Okay. Good, Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. One at a time. One at one a time. time. Yeah. Please. Uh, already somebody, some people already. Now I will allow one by one. Uh, Mr. Balu, if you have Mr. any questions, please. Mr. Balu has any question? Yes. Quickly yeah. ask. Already getting late. Mr. Balu, you are uh, mute. Muted. Yeah. yeah. Am I audible? Yes. 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 Yeah. You are. Yeah. Very good, Dr. Jina, and it was a very fantastic session. Mm -hmm. I was on the move, but I could follow. Uh, when we talk about the braces and all that stuff, uh, instead of going for a knee, knee replacement, all, we are just taking it and uh, it is going to be user-friendly, you are saying, and also used one word, uh, one sentence, which was very amazing. And I am also a strong believer. Our body is designed in such a way that it heals on its own. So I'm also into some concept that I will talk to you. And by doing these braces and all, uh, will it be a permanent yeah. solution or will it be against the nature or something that we are doing? Uh, probably out of the way or something. That is my uh, maybe a layman question, but I really want to answer. Okay, so you're talking about the braces, right? Yes. Yes. So the braces will definitely help you to relieve your pain. Okay. Now, if you're talking about uh, using the brace for a lifetime, then uh, uh, you know practically it is impossible to use for a lifetime. Is not very easy, as we say. But definitely, if you use it for a lifetime. Scientific wise, scientific wise, the uh, brace should definitely help you to avoid surgery because your weight bearing axis is shifted. Now, the problem is that suppose the one side is damaged. Now, we are shifting the weight bearing from that side to the other side. Now, that side can be okay, but the other side can start getting damaged because weight has to fall somewhere. Yeah, weight has to fall somewhere. Hello, Papa. So, uh, the medium basically it is for pain. Okay, the pain. So it's not the thing like that. That it is for managing your pain. That is the primary important thing what we need to highlight. Even if you are changing the offloading the brace and changing the angle, it will affect somewhere else. Maybe not now, because you are now, for example, your medial side, inner side of your knee took uh, 30 years to get damaged. So your other side of the knee might take another 25 30 years to get damaged so for elderly i would not suggest you to do it for younger population yes definitely you can suggest you can do it you know till we find a cure for arthritis thank you okay. thank you thank you very much sir good evening sir this is vinay good evening sir this is vinay hello sir, sir. 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 just please wait hello, sir. Sir. waiting for a long time please ask your question very fast Doctor, because already getting late. Mr. Ranjit. 
Nafisa ji, yes, who is that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Good evening. Sir, Good evening. I have been having this problem for the last 32 years. And right now, I am in a position where my knees, I walk with a bit bent knees. My lower back hurts. My knee does not bend much. And I walk with bent knees. Yes. Uh, yes. Do I have to definitely go for a surgery? Will the braces help? Or uh, what is this alternative therapies that they talk about? Uh, how? Yes. What should I do at this stage? Uh, how how young are you, madam? I'm 65. 65. Okay. So, you are at the right age for surgery, first of all. But, uh, again, when you talk about alignment, if you say that your knees are bent, okay, you might be having back pain also. Okay. Yes, lower so, back pain. Yes. Lower back pain, yeah. So, that means your lower back is overloaded. Lower back is overloading, meaning that your knees have lost its strength. Okay. So, that causes uh, more pain on the lower back. Okay. Hmm. Now, uh, if lower back is paining and instead of damaging your lower back more, it's always better to correct the alignment of the knee joint. Now, there's a simple example, simple test what you can try is, you can try the offloader brace. Okay. Now, the offloader brace will distract your joint and get your knee back to the alignment. Okay. After you're getting back to the knee to the alignment, then you see if you have a back pain or not. Okay. If you're back pain goes off after applying the uh, knee brace that means your alignment is the main issue now that alignment has to be corrected okay now alignment can only be corrected temporarily with this brace it's not a permanent way of so in that case you are a good candidate for a surgery or not this is for the last 32 years i'm having this problem i ignored it now i feel that i cannot take it any further and uh, i am told maybe i would need a surgery but do i really need a surgery or other alternative therapies can help all the alternative therapies are there but i if i'll be in a better situation to tell you if i see your x-ray but definitely for pain relieving you can try all kinds of the injections the biological therapy everything which is there hmm? the prp that you spoke about sir yeah. is yeah. that uh, effective on this in this case it is definitely effective, but again, the the length of uh, effectiveness we have to see. Like for younger patients, for stage one, stage two arthritis, it's it, it works valid for at least three to four years. But in a stage four arthritis, like suppose if you are saying that you have a stage four arthritis, it is not going to help you much in that case, you know, because once bone to bone is rubbing and the osteophytes have formed, then uh, it is not going to help you, uh, you know. In, uh, in changing the alignment, injection can only help you to reduce your pain. It will not correct your alignment. Alignment only by using the offloader brace or by doing the corrective knee replacement surgery. And with robotic surgery, which is there right now, it will help you to align your knee joint as per your hip and your spine. So the alignment is so perfect that you will feel more natural. And the recovery is... Your suggestion would be that I should go in more for a robotic surgery rather than a regular op uh, open surgery. Because, open because, surgery. Yeah, because your spine is getting affected. And your spine is getting affected, that means the alignment is really bad. So you need to... You know, you need to Not check Not only that. one knee. Now, the second knee also has started to uh, show up. And yes. uh, the second knee uh, has got... Uh, uh, disturbed or rather the pain has shown up in just last two years but it is equal and to the knee. Correct, correct, correct. So definitely consult for both the knees and then we can decide on what uh, stage it is. Okay. Uh, Hello okay. sir, good evening sir. This is Vin. Yeah. Let me Sir, the thing is morning yeah. when I wake up, no, I don't have knees. Madam, please, madam, please unmute. Unmute, unmute, madam. Unmute, unmute. madam. Good evening, sir. I'm from Bangalore. I'm yeah. 15 years old. And morning when I wake up, I'm fine. I don't have knee pain. I'm able to do exercise, yoga, Surya Namaskara, everything. As the day passes, I'm feeling <laughs> <laughs> in my knees. 
stressing for longer times also it is difficult for me holding my knees and do so what should we do should i try to sit down or i should avoid sitting down posting is avoid sitting down because knee bending too much is not advisable it causes more wear and tear okay try to sit on a chair okay try to keep your knees straight you can do yoga for your back you can lie down you can sleep and do it but nothing which causes more bending of the knee joint uh, avoid using uh, indian commode you uh, use a western commode on knee joints by doing the exercises for the thigh muscles uh, for your hip muscles okay and walk on level grounds is very good but avoid going up and down in the steps up and down going up and especially going down is the worst okay so walking on level grounds is very important sir i know milk will it strengthen my bones or some people say don't use milk and milk products and some people say use milk what do yeah, so again, that is, that's what i said so you need to do your blood test okay it's a very common thing that milk and milk products will definitely help you to raise your vitamin d and calcium but i would suggest you to there are some some places where you cannot use milk so you need to do your blood test okay get your uric acid check up done get your arthritis check up done and then we decide on the diet what yeah, has to be done this yeah. thing is i mean we cannot discuss now in the range it is in the upper side only yeah 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 so there in there, there you will have to avoid some kind of milk okay so you uh, milk will in it does it does it does madam madam unmute you Sir, are in your in your uh, uh, um, Will you be able to give a list of tests that need to be done? The blood tests. Yes, I only explain the time, but, uh, but we'll we'll suggest it's R A factor, uric acid, vitamin D three, vitamin B twelve, anti C C P, H L A B twenty seven. I think our team will try and put it up in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Please do, sir. Please do. Yeah. Make a list of the tests that need yeah. to be. Just running running short of time. If anybody is last few questions. My father-in-law is ninety three years old. and uh, his knees are bent can operation be done for him yes age is not the criteria i have a patient uh, i operated yesterday she is 94 she is absolutely fit and uh, she wants to walk pain free and if the patient is fit for surgery uh, robotic surgery is very safe for elderly very elderly pe people where uh, there is no much cutting the incision is less and uh, we have a fully automatic robot we have a fully automatic sorry how much it will cost uh costing depends on city to city absolutely madam but roughly we are looking at around 2.5 to 3 lakhs as well as an average yeah sir actually i am in police training center i am trainee here my name yes. is vinay sir uh, recently when i was running uh, uh, uh i don't know what happened my i think uh, my knee got twisted and i'm um, on that day for a few days for like uh, one week i am unable to close my knee or open my leg properly Yeah. Uh, recently, I went through MRI, and here are the impressions that shows small knee joint effusion with mild synovitis, grade one chondromalacia in anterior compartment, slight edema, in a, slight edema in ACL, slight soft tissue edema around the knee joint, predominantly in the posterior aspect. And uh, I'm unable to run properly right now, also, and I'm feel something uh, is happening have with my they, knee. Have they, have they have they commented anything about the meniscus? uh meniscus one second sir a uh, lateral meniscus is normal sir uh, a medial is... meniscus uh... one second sir yeah medical free edge free edge tunication of the body yes. okay okay so possibly you have damaged one of the meniscus there that the medial meniscus uh it's a sports injury which you are talking about and uh, uh, initially you can uh, go ahead with some rest and some conservative management okay uh, no sports absolutely and rest it out use a knee brace not this offloader brace what i told another knee brace and that will reduce your pain and assess for 15 days and then visit your uh, sports medicine specialist doctor who can assess your uh, stability again and if he feels that the knee is still locking and uh, you know Still uh, paining while bending, then you should get an arthroscopic procedure done. Okay, sure, sir. Uh, again, uh, one doubt, sir. Which knee brace should I use, sir? Hinged so or in, in your case, hinged knee brace, not an offloader brace. Uh, 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 okay, hinged and uh, spring. Uh, can I use spring brace, sir? There are no, no, just, just use a simple open patella hinged knee brace. 
they, they, they will guide you. Yeah. The company okay. will guide you. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Prabhaji, when you were asking, you were waiting for a long time. Please uh, unmute and speak. I think she cannot be able to unmute sir, actually for a long time. Okay. Uh, anybody waiting last. to ask any questions? I think maybe last one, two questions because I need to rest some sir, Yeah. Sir, Namaskar. Namaskar. Sir, my name is Chitaranjan Mishra. Sir, I am now I am age of 60. Yes. At the time of 18 years, job I was 18 years, sir, I was playing cricket at the time of the knee injury. 18 years, I was 60 years old. Now I am feeling that my leg, uh, uh, knee is a little bit of pain. You can see it as a cop type, left side, leg. Now I am feeling that my leg is a little bit of pain. Now I am feeling that my leg is a little bit of pain. मेरे लाइफ में मैं कभी मतलब ऐसा ही मैं डेली एक्टिविटी जैसा भी मैं कर रहा हूँ मेरा कोई प्रॉब्लम इसमें नहीं है लेकिन मैं जब चल रहा हूँ मेरा पैर का नीचे से थोड़ा सा भी मतलब ऐसा ही कंकर टाइप का छोटा सा चीज रहता है तो मुझे लग रहा है कि मेरा नीच पुश हो रहा है जैसा ऐसा लग रहा है और बेंड हो रहा है मुझे अभी जैसे मैं खट मत फफाटो उठा रहा हूँ मेरा दोनों लेग में बीच में नी का स्पेस में थोड़ा सा गैप बढ़ गया वो फिर आउटसाइड को थोड़ा सा लेफ्ट नी मतलब फल गया थोड़ा सा ऐसा ही लग रहा है कि बेंड है फफाटो वैसा ही क्लियरली आ रहा है नॉर्मल ठीक है तो वो मैं जस्ट कट शॉट करू Basically, your knee bend and arthritis, which is the show in the X-ray, if the alignment is wrong, then the alignment is better to fix the alignment of your age. So, if you use the off-loader brace, which is the off-loader brace, then if you open the brace, and the gap is equal, after putting the brace, you have to do an X-ray. Okay, sir. After putting the brace, these people will suggest that you will give them a demo. तो जब लगाने के बाद ना वो प्रॉपर है कि नहीं ना उसके लिए एक एक्सरे करना पड़ता है अगर वो एक्सरे में दिखता है कि अभी जो जो कम ज़्यादा था अभी वो बराबर हो गया है तो परफेक्ट फिर उसको यूज़ करना है आपको वैसे ठीक है I am residing at Bhuvaneswar और संबलपुर so can it possible हाँ वो करेंगे आपको आपको कोऑर्डिनेट करा � uh, thank you very much uh, uh, to everyone. Uh, thank you very much, Doctor on behalf of everyone from Avana Group. Uh, really, uh, artful, our artful thanks to you, sir. In your busy schedule, you. you are already spent because we are planned an hour. Already, we have crossed almost uh, more than a hundred of hours. Thank you, really thank you, thank you. Well, I had a great time and uh, answering a uh, lot of questions. Uh, please share my details with uh, all the yes, people sir. who are registered. Okay, you can share my uh, contact details also. So I am uh, from Tunga Group of Hospitals, Mumbai. And if anybody wants to consult uh, online also, we can do a consultation also. And if anybody wants to visit 